it was the start of a brand new year. When you're in the safety of the future, the past doesn't seem so relevant. And you can let go and be still and things can just come to you. We were at this enviable juncture where we either take off our clothes and live in the trees or we eat and sleep. We had not had any privacy since day one of owning our own cell phones. Our first week in Bali, it was the longest break from social media we'd given ourselves in over a year. Nice, but even that control is an illusion. After about a week, I checked in on Facebook and Instagram. But then I opened Twitter and saw, oh my God, Joe and Harmony were trending. Along with the hashtags, hippie scum, patriots unite, and America, love it or leave it. Joe and Harmony were getting their free 15 minutes of shame. Having the temerity to go live in another country stirs a resentful Samuel Johnson kind of patriotism in some Americans. They, they just flat out resent you. I broke radio silence at the airport, fired off a couple of tweets uh, that we were leaving, and it was picked up by some video blogger in Delaware. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's dirty hippies. Oh, peace, love, and being a dumbass. Especially these two I found out about, Joe Flower and Harmony Breeze. Take it back to Burning Man, where we all conceived at Woodstock. Oh, we're from San Francisco. We're the liberal elite tree huggers who think we're better than America. Well, get the hell out of this country. I heard you want to leave. And good riddance. We don't want you here. Getting rid of you two dummies will be making America great again. Yeah, there was a storm in a teacup, but it did go intercontinental. An anti-American French shock jock picked up the thread and seemed concerned we might want to go freeload in France. Écoutez, je peux comprendre pourquoi quelqu'un voudrait quitter l'Amérique. J'avais hâte de partir et je n'avais que deux semaines de vacances. Ce n'était pas Woodstock, c'était Disneyland. Sérieusement, si Joe Flower et Harmony Brice pensent qu'ils vont venir vivre ici, ils peuvent y repenser. Hein. Oubliez ça, on veut pas de vous ici les hippies. It didn't last too long. Such is the nature of social media, the next big thing comes along and you're forgotten. Of course, no one had any idea how big the next big thing was going to be. On the last day of December 2019, there struck a novel virus the world had never seen. China has identified the cause of... There's all this talk about this virus from China. The mysterious new virus. What we were seeing globally through the windows of social media was not being reflected locally. Coronavirus. Everyone in Bali stayed, you know, pretty chilled. Tourists were leaving, but gradually, no one was in any great rush. Looks like there's a case at home. At the time, we didn't know what to think. COVID-19. We were just sitting there watching the numbers go up. You know, this shit's getting real, Joe. Like, I think we seriously need to think about relocation. Meanwhile, America closes its borders. We will be suspending all travel from Australia Europe. does the same. We couldn't go back. We couldn't go forward. We were stuck in paradise. The idea was to get as far away from civilization as our circumstances would allow. We spoke to some local people. Towards the end of March, a beautiful guy by the name of Kadek Roger uh, made us an offer we simply could not refuse. You and Harmony, you are welcome here. Please come to Ali. Come and stay in Lopina Beach.
home. We sure hope they are home. We hope that we can hold out, but we sure don't know how long.